senator from District 23. She's a leader with the ability to bring people together in a bipartisan manner. She will not be bullied or intimidated by those who carry ideological torches which would burn down what is good and right in our beautiful state. An advocate and an ally for the middle class, I present to you the 81st governor of the state of New Hampshire, the Honorable Maggie Hassan. of the strike and the support he got and the strikers got and all of our workers got from so many of you and so many people who aren't here, uh, that what he demonstrates and what you all demonstrated throughout uh, the whole Fairpoint strike was the fact that when we all stand together, we all get stronger together. And I thank you, Glenn, for your leadership. I thank everyone who is here, all of the devoted labor officials and leaders who are here with us today for demonstrating that principle in your work. The labor movement in New Hampshire is absolutely critical to the work men and women of our state and our families, and it's helped build one of the region's strongest economies. You are standing up and fighting for the needs of our workers every day. And our state is stronger because of your efforts. I also want to congratulate this year's scholarship award winners, who I think we'll be recognizing a little bit later in the program. I just want all of you to know how important your accomplishments are, and we really want you to keep up the hard work so we can look forward to your future accomplishments, too. I'd also like to thank our Commissioner of Labor, Jim Craig, sitting right here, and our Commissioner of Employment Security, George Capatis, right here. Thank you both for your efforts to ensure the safety and well-being of our workers. I'd also like to acknowledge and thank United States Congresswoman Annie Custer for fighting for the workers of New Hampshire. And I want to thank all of the elected state representatives and senators and executive counselors who were, are here with us today as well, with a particular shout out and happy birthday to State Senator Donna Susi. And I believe that a little bit later, we will all be welcoming Senator Sanders. I also want to, I also want to welcome Governor Chafee, Senator Stabenow, Secretary Sanchez, and all the presidential campaigns back to the Granite State to engage in our vibrant and robust citizen-led democracy. Thank you all for being here. Most importantly, though, I want to thank all of the steady, dedicated, tireless workers of the Granite State. You make up the highly skilled workforce that's the backbone of our economy. You make our community strong, and you protect the well-being of our people. You keep our economy moving in the right direction. I know that you believe, as I do, that every citizen, regardless of circumstance, should have the opportunity to hold a good job, work hard, raise a family, and share in the high quality of life that we enjoy in New Hampshire. When such opportunity exists, our people become empowered, and our state grows stronger. All of us here today understand that the best way to ensure long-term economic prosperity is with a thriving middle class, leading the way as the driver of our economy. Since I entered office, we've made real progress for New Hampshire's people and businesses, and our economy continues to strengthen. Our unemployment rate continues to fall and is now 3.7% the fifth lowest in the country. Our median household income has been ranked among the highest in the nation, and our private sector has recovered all of the jobs lost in the recession. Once again, we were ranked the best state in the nation based on more than a dozen measures of quality of life. And another recent report ranked New Hampshire as the best state to live. 
and the best able to earn a living. But while there are many encouraging signs that indicate that our economy is moving in the right direction, we know that there is more work to be done to ensure that all of our citizens are included in our shared success and prosperity. As all of us here know, there are critical priorities that we must continue to support, including investing in higher education, substance abuse prevention, health care, and transportation infrastructure in order to expand middle class opportunity and keep our economy moving in the right direction. By working together over the last two years, we've made higher education more affordable, reinvested in our roads and bridges, and passed the Bipartisan Paycheck Fairness Act to ensure that women can receive equal pay for an equal day's work. Good sign. We became the first state to prohibit employers from paying sub-minimum wages to people who experience disabilities. We passed our bipartisan Medicaid expansion plan, which has provided more than 42,000 hardworking Granite Staters with the health and financial security that comes with quality, affordable health care. And we have fought to ensure that the paychecks of hardworking Granite Staters are no longer being threatened by so-called right to work, which we all know really means same spirit that I will continue to fight to protect our ability to support the priorities that are critical to expanding middle class opportunity, supporting job creating businesses, encouraging innovation, and attracting and retaining more young people right here in New Hampshire. Because supporting critical economic priorities like affordable higher education, access to health care, and modern and safe infrastructure is how we will close the opportunity gap and ensure that all hardworking Granite Staters can feel the benefits of a strengthening economy. We have come a long way together, and if we stick together, we can make more progress for New Hampshire's working families, ensure a strong and growing middle class, and build an even brighter, more innovative economic future for our state. Thank you again for your support and for all that our labor unions and workers do to keep our economy moving forward and our families and our communities strong. We can all thrive together. Happy Labor Day. Thank you.